full face of glam makeup using only affordable products from the drugstore. Hello, hello and welcome to Skincare Simplified. My name is Nipun, your skincare bestie, now a certified skincare consultant. And in today's video, I'm sharing a glam makeup look that is super easy to do, done only with drugstore or affordable products. Not a lot of products at that. So if you're interested, keep watching. Before we get started, do consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. It helps me a lot. I create new content three times a week, Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Now let's get started. Before we get into makeup, one thing that everyone talks about, whether they are pro makeup artists or influencers, it is skin prep. And honestly, I feel we try and overcomplicate the issue. Now, it all depends what time of the day you're applying your makeup. According to that, just do your normal skincare routine. Always apply a cream or a moisturizer to hydrate your skin that matches your skin type. So my skin type is normal to dry. Now the winter is setting in, so it's mostly dry. I like to use a hydrating cream like this one. This is the uh, this is the QB Replenish Cream. If your skin type is more oily or combination to oily, just use something gel-based. You can use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Cream or this new launch from Skin Proud, which is frozen over. This is a lightweight gel formula filled with hyaluronic acid. So you can use any cream. I've already used the QB cream. My face is primed. Now, one common thing that happens is people tend to feel that their makeup tends to get cakey. The thing you need to understand is when you're matching your primer and your foundation. If you're using a primer, I don't use a primer all the time, but if you're using a primer, which is silicon based, and then you're using a water based foundation, the two will cl uh, clash and your makeup is going to get patchy. So if you have a silicon free uh, primer, that is what you should go with or then directly just go in with your foundation. I do have a foundation. Uh, I do have a primer here, which is the Elf Luminous Putty Primer, but this has silicon, so I'm not going to be using this. I'm directly going to go in with my foundation. This is Kind and Free by Rimmel, hydrating, lightweight, buildable. Absolutely love this product. The other product that I'm going to use for my concealer, and I've shown this to you guys in a previous video, it is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. So these are the two products that I'm going to use for my face. I like to first go in with my concealer. That way I get whatever coverage I need in the areas that need coverage so I can decide how much foundation I need to use. So first things first, one drop. This is all I've got of the NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer. And I'm gonna go with this under my eyes. Now I'm going to cover some of the parts where I have a little acne situation happening. So I took another drop and I've got a little acne situation here and I'm going to conceal that as well. Now I know a lot of makeup artists like to make the foundation sit for a bit, you know, and then go in with the main, with the blending process. I honestly, it really depends on the kind of product you're using. It doesn't make too much of a difference. Now I'm not a brush user. I'm a beauty blender person. So I'm going to go in with my clean, washed, damp beauty blender and just blend this out. The whole idea is to dab it on the place where you've got it. With the product that's remaining on the, on the sponge, I actually then take it on top. Now, as you can see, my face has quite a bit of coverage. The dark circles, the little bit of discoloration, that's kind of gone off. Now is the time I can actually decide how much product I need for my face. Now, understand I'm going to do a smoky glam kind of a look. So I want my face to be well covered. I will use a little more product than I usually do. Now I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Kind and Free. Now, there are various ways in which you can apply this. This is the amount I've taken. My favorite way of applying this or any liquidy foundation is actually using my hands. You can definitely use a brush. Like I said, I'm not a brush user, so that's not something that kind of works for me. So one pump is what I use to cover my face and then I just go and do this. Two fingers, very light pressure. Just blend it in.
Now I'm gonna take a little more for my neck. So I've taken about roughly another pump. Now that you've got all of this happening, now take your beauty blender or now is when I take my beauty blender and I kind of finish it off. Because when you're blending it out with your fingers, you are not getting the best finish, right? You're just able to get the product onto your skin. You're not getting the best finish. The right finish will come with the beauty blender. And this is where I urge you to spend time. If you feel you are blending enough, you're not. The more time you spend blending your base, the better it's going to stay, the more flawless it will look. So blend like it's a marathon. My face is all blended out. Just see how luminous this looks. This is a really, really good foundation. If you've not tried it, I urge you to actually try it. My shade is 160 Vanilla. Now, we're gonna quickly set the under eyes before we bake, and this is sort of a new technique that I learned. Uh, so, I'm gonna just take a, something like this. This is from Amazon. This is, I don't know, rectangular stuff from Amazon. You can just Google it, you'll get it. I use this and I use the pressed powder. You can use any pressed powder and I'm just going to set the under eye area very quickly at this point. No baking right now. We're just setting the under eye area. Now we're gonna go and finish off the contouring and the blush. Now, before we do that, because this is a glam look, let me show you another product that I like to use. And if you're in India, you're gonna get this really easily. This is by Note Cosmetics. This is the Sun Glow Foundation. Now you can't really apply it directly because it's literally like, um, what do you say? It's literally like a glimmer glitter thing, but I'm gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand. It's actually a lot, you don't need this much. I'm gonna take a little bit and then just dot it here and here also on this point right now so this kind of works like a bronzy glowy thing and then i'm going to go again with my beauty blender and set it gives you a really nice bronzy glow and that's all you need to do If you feel you've got a little extra, like I feel I've got a little extra, just blend it out. But this is a really affordable highlighter, I feel. And it is all under your eyes, so you're not messing with the powder that you applied here. It's all in this area. Now let's go in with the blush. A blush that I love, I've been loving for a while, is the She Glam blush. This is some pink color, I will put it here. And you can literally use any liquid blush. If you cannot get the She Glam blush for any reason, try this Revlon Cheek Flushing Tint. This is also really, really pretty. This is color 0, 002 Flushy. But I'm going in with the She Glam thing and I'm just going to blend it out. It looks like a lot of color, but trust the process. When you start blending it out, it is going to look good. It is sheer, so it doesn't mess with the glow that you've already got going here. Just blend it out. Trust the process. The blush is all blended out. Because this is a full glam look, we're gonna do a little bit of contour. You can use a powder. I like to use a cream formula. This is the NYX Wonder Stick. It has been reformulated. It's got a different packaging now. My shade is Deep Rich and I use only one side of it. It comes in two colors, I never get to use it. And I like to go in like this. I know there are a lot of contouring techniques, but honestly, you've got to know the shape of your face and use a contour accordingly. You don't have to really overcomplicate the situation. And then I just go down and I connect it up. I already got that shiny bronzer happening here. So I'm just going to take two dots and put it like here on the top where I don't have the bronzer. What you need to avoid is layering too much on top of each other. You want to keep the placement separate, right? So you don't want to go one on top of the other, layer after layer. That is just going to look cakey and messy. <sighs> now there's a lot of blending to do, so let's go ahead and do that. Now at this point, after you've blended out everything, if you feel your face is looking a little dark or it's not look, or your foundation has got sort of blended in with all of the color, don't worry, just take a little more. So like this much, 
ignored this this is the extra highlighter i got i'll wipe it off later and then in the areas where you feel you need a little bit of that foundation coming in just apply it like for me it's this and blend it out it's as simple as that i feel my face just looks well balanced now it's not it's not like too pink it's not too brown it's well balanced now we're gonna do baking now the baking part is you know uh, i know a lot of people do it right away after setting their under eye area and then they start applying their cream products and their highlighters and all of that i don't do it right away like i said i like to finish off all products of one type so i like to finish off all my cream liquid products now i'm going to go in with the powder so at this point as you know i had already set it i'm just going to make sure there is no further creasing and then i'm going to go in with my powder so the powder i have is the la girl pro powder it is the setting powder i'm just shaking it up so i get some of it on top yeah so see i get this and then i take a really thin brush like this i take all of my product and i just place it in I know a lot of people are afraid of fine lines and wrinkles because they oh this looks so beautiful I just noticed I had all this pigment flying on the screen <sighs> this is pretty okay anyhow so I know a lot of people are afraid of powder especially if you have mature face mature eyes you feel that it's gonna like make you look cakey and whatever it is really about how much you use how you use it what you're gonna do with it And I particularly like to bake in areas where I tend to get oily. And a little bit on the bridge of my nose. This actually helps the contour look better, okay? So the baking part is done. We're gonna let it sit for a few. While we are baking, I'm gonna do my brows. And before I get started with my brows, because I've applied foundation and powder and blah, 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 I like to take a little bit of tissue and then just very carefully without moving any of the product, just clean my brows. This is an important stuff because, step, not stuff. This is an important step because you are going to be using some kind of a brow product and you want it to look clean. And no matter how careful you are, you will always end up getting a little bit of foundation on your brows so brow product that i'm going to be using and i did show it to you in my high-end products and it is missing it's missing what the hell I, oh no it's not missing it's right here is this cheap ass amazon brow wax that i got which i absolutely love sorry which i absolutely love so i am just going to use this you can get any generic brow wax but i like using this one i spray it with my setting spray then I take my spoolie and I go into a little game like this and then I basically work my brows up I'm not going in with a very feathered look I just want them to look neat natural so now I don't have an affordable brow product for filling in my brows but you can literally use any brown eyeshadow and use a spoolie like this and that is exactly what I'm going to do at this point so I'm just taking some generic brown eyeshadow and filling it in I don't like to get my brows very dark so I like to keep even my glam looks I like to look like a human being so keep it natural so I just fill it in with this and then I go back with the spoolie and if any of my hair have moved I kind of set them right like this now after you've done this step chances are your foundation has moved a bit so just don't take any product don't go in the center because you've got powder there just make sure it's all set now we're gonna go in with the shadow and my version of doing the shadow is very very simple it has literally two products or three products and these are all very affordable 
Shambhur is a brand that I have used for many, many years, even when I was back in India. And they have these incredible shadow sticks, okay? And this brown one is my favorite. I buy always two, three when I go to India. So this is a shadow stick. This is one thing we're gonna use. This is the same, the same shadow stick, which is in a lighter silvery color. And then Revlon has this beautiful golden shadow stick right here. So we're gonna use all of these things right here today to create my eyes not to create my eyes, to basically do my eye makeup, my smoky eye makeup. This is what I call the easiest smoky eye in the world. It takes five minutes, anyone can do it. Even if you've never used makeup, if you're a complete beginner, you can do this. Just trust the process and look at me how I do it. So before we get started with the eye, do you see all of this creasing that's happened because of the foundation? Just use the same brush that we used for baking. Don't use any product and just clean it out, okay? This way and then takes whatever pressed powder you have and pat it down here it'll work as a beautiful eyeshadow base primer whatever you want to call it you literally don't need to buy separate products when it comes to makeup i feel like the industry just creates different products and complicates things it is very simple perfectly primed eyelids now let's do the world's simplest smoky eye this is how you're going to do it so i like to first take the shadow stick and I'm creating this rough V here. Can you see how like roughly I've done it? Then I use my fingers, you can use a brush, whatever you're comfortable with. These are super creamy, okay? Just do your base. Rough random V, you don't have to be neat about it at all. You got this. Now we're gonna go in with the golden shade, this one. This is gonna come in from your inner corner. So this is the other V, but it's coming in from your inner corners to the center of your lid. This is it. Really, really simple, okay? This one is a cream formula, trust me, it doesn't move. Then what you're gonna do is, because this is a smoky eye, Go in into your upper, whatever this lash line area is. Make it a little more intense, as thick or as light as you want to make it. This way. And then I like to go in with my waterline. It's really to do with the shape of your eyes. How do you want to accentuate them? Makeup is all about play. You don't need to overcomplicate things. This is kind of done. Now I'm going to use this silvery shade here and just highlight my brow bone area. You could even use the golden one. I just like the way this one looks. And then I'm going to take this onto my inner corners and just do some highlighting here and some highlighting here. It's really simple. Okay, this one is a little more. This. Now let's quickly wipe off all of that powder that we've got happening on our face. I'm just going to like dust it out like so. This is perfectly balanced face makeup. You've got your blush happening. You've got your highlighter, bronzer, all of those happening. And this baking technique where you set with a pressed powder first, then go ahead and do baking with a loose powder. I, I do this even for work sometimes. And this, this technique doesn't fail you. I learned this from another channel uh, and a makeup artist, which is painted by Spencer. This is the way he sets it and he calls it he calls it conceal, set, bake. That's what he say. That's what he calls it. And this process doesn't fail me. I'm sure it will not fail you. So give it a go. Now, before I apply my mascara and things like this, now is when I like to go in with a setting spray because there is a lot of product that has happened on my face already. Now, this is the setting spray that I'm going to go in with this, which is by Catrice. It is the Prime and Fine. I'm almost done with this bottle. I'm going to reorder it. After all my cream powder products are done, when my eyes are complete, before I apply my, my mascara, I do this. And I know this is a bit much, but I like it this way, okay? 
I'm going to, this is a lot, okay? You don't have to do this much, but I'm actually going to give it a few minutes before I actually do the rest of my face because this needs to completely set and it takes about two minutes to do so. Before I apply my mascara, I like to go in with a lip plumper. And this is by Barry, by Barry M Cosmetics. It's the cooling lip plumper and it's very affordable. I got it for like 20 dirhams. And it's super mirchi. It will plump up your lips. Ideally in a situation, I would like to curl my lashes, but I have forgotten my lash curler in the other room. So I'm just going to go in with the best, the best mascara ever, the Essence Lash Princess. Look at the difference. It, it almost looks like false lashes. Then one common mistake I see people doing is they take the same wand and apply it on the other lash. Don't do that. Dip it again. Take it out. And then go in. I got a little bit on my nose. Don't worry. I'll clean it up later. And then wriggle your lower lashes. I like that. And I love me some nice long fluffy lashes. Let me show you a close-up. Take a look at how long and voluminous my lashes look right now. And this is without even curling it. If I had curled them, they would look even better. Now we're going to do the lips. I'm taking off the excess lip plumper. Whatever plumping had to happen has happened. My favorite, absolute favorite lip liner and a lip liner, something I do like to use is by Catrice again. It is the lip plumping lip liner. Let me tell you, there is nothing plumping about this product. It doesn't plump your lips, but it is super smooth. It's nine bucks and it's really affordable. I pretty much cover my entire mouth with the lip liner. This is shade 020 Water Doll. It's one of my favorite shades. And then you just keep it simple. You can go in with a lipstick. I am sort of thinking which one I should use. I've got, uh, because my eyes are kind of smoky, but they are not that intense, I can go in with a heavier mouth. Now, I'm very conscious about wearing a red lipstick. I had a red lipstick phase almost six years ago when I could carry it off with a lot of aplomb and a lot of poise, but it's sort of disappeared. <laughs> so I am gonna go in with this Isidora red lipstick and I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. So just in the center, and then I'm going in with this 017 Matte Aromatic Red from Isadora. It's not red though. Then I'm going to, since this is done, I'm going to just take a little bit of, oopsie, don't fall please. I'm going to take a little bit of tissue, wipe it off, go in again with some red. That is how I like to mix and match. Now the final part of a glam look is obviously you glam, do your hair, you apply some lenses. I'm not showing any of that right now, but yes, this is the look. If you enjoyed this, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you wanna see more such videos. So my friends, this was a full face of glam using affordable drugstore makeup. If you're interested in seeing some high-end makeup looks, let me know in the comments because I just received some new makeup, which is high-end, including Hoss Labs, which is Lady Gaga's makeup brand, which is fantastic. And I would love to share a review with you only if you're interested. Uh, let me know if you enjoy this kind of makeup content. I've not done a lot of it on the channel before. I've only done one video and this is like my second makeup video. So if you're interested in regular how to do basic makeup for everyone leave it in the comments below also let me know what is the other kind of content that you like you that you would like to see on my channel besides skincare that i cover three times a week any which ways until next time take great care of yourself hit the like button if you haven't already go ahead watch the next video because that is the one youtube wants you to watch bye